Loaded with what was once alcohol-based hand sanitizer still smolders after erupting into flames this afternoon. Right now, the DEQ and the OSBI are both on scene, along with our own Sylvia Corkill. And Sylvia, we know you're familiar with this business as well. Amanda Carl, I think at this point it is safe to say that we are a little too familiar with this business. And I know that the emergency responders in this area sharing the same sentiment after we spoke with them a little earlier today. I'll let you take a look. That fire certainly still burning. It's been burning for about five hours now. The DEQ estimates there are between 1,500 to 2,000 pallets of hand sanitizer. The alcohol-based chemical burns extremely hot, triggering a massive fire response which we knew that there was some sanitizer that was being stored out here at this facility. So uh, we responded in general with uh, numerous fire departments because we knew that it had the potential to be a large and fire like we had a couple months ago at the facility just a half a mile up the road. Now, according to the DEQ, this site is one of three locations investigated over the past several months after two other sites caught fire, the massive blaze igniting in early August. Now, combined, they were storing millions of gallons of expired hand sanitizer. We know all three sites were being leased by Brandon Boardwine, owner of Boardwine Development. In a compliance order in late August, the DEQ ordered the company to pay a $6.6 .6 million fine, the largest in DEQ history. Now, we knew at the time when that issue was ordered that Boardwine had 30 days to pay that million-dollar fine. We spoke to DEQ today. They tell me that fine has not been paid and that Boardwine has requested a hearing before an administrative law judge that is scheduled for next week. Live in Nenecost, Sylvia Corkill, Oklahoma Zone, News 9. All right.